Meantime, the University of Washington scientists are monitoring an underwater volcano expected to erupt for the first time in a decade. Brady Wakayama with our Environment Northwest team spoke with one of the head scientists studying the active volcano about whether an eruption is something you need to worry about. It's one of the coolest things that happens on our planet. A volcanic eruption that could happen by the end of the year. This is the best studied underwater volcano in the world right now. And every time we go through this volcanic cycle, we're learning things new. Debbie Kelly, a University of Washington oceanography professor, has been studying the axial seamount for years. It's a massive underwater volcano about 300 miles off the Oregon coast and nearly 4,900 feet below the ocean. This is the channel way. Scientists at UW's Cabled Array, one of the largest ocean observatories in the world monitoring this active volcano, have seen potential eruption signs the last few months. An increase in earthquakes beneath the sea floor and the volcano inflating due to buildup of magma. Do people need to worry about this eruption? <laughs> No, uh, we get asked that a lot. These volcanoes, uh, no, people, people will not, if we didn't have the ray out there, people would not know that it was going to erupt or that it was erupting. It's unlikely for the underwater eruption to trigger a tsunami, a major earthquake, or cause extensive damage like land volcanoes could. One, they don't have uh, a mile of water sitting on top of them, which is, you know, dampens it, but they also don't have as much gases and the, the magma compositions are different. So all of those things make it that they, they're not a very explosive eruption. Especially not as explosive like the last notable eruption in Washington. Wow. 1980, I remember very well Mount St. Helens. I was jumping up and down. It's a moment that resonates with many throughout the Pacific Northwest. I never thought in my lifetime I would see anything like that. I mean, it was devastating and there's that part of it. But there's one of those extreme events on the planet where you're like, oh my God. Axial Seamount has erupted three times. 1998, 2011, and in 2015. Scientists don't have an exact date when it could erupt next, but Kelly will let us know when it does. Oh, for sure we'll let you know. You could wait a lifetime and never see one of these things, um, especially when it's underwater. And so the opportunity to witness things that almost nobody in the world's ever seen before is, it's a big discovery, right? For Environment Northwest, I'm Brady Wakayama.